Jeb's leg. Jeb's leg. Jeb's leg. Ooh, a nice one. Again. The footage hit the internet like a lightning bolt. Mike Tyson, at 58 years old, was seen moving with the speed and power that made him a legend. In those few minutes of leaked training clips, he looked like he could knock out anyone who dared step into the ring with him. Teddy Atlas, Tyson's former trainer, was reportedly in complete shock. Evander Holyfield, who famously battled Tyson, couldn't believe his eyes. Roy Jones Jr., another boxing great, was raving about Tyson's condition, saying he looked ready to take on the world. With boxing legends in awe and fans buzzing with excitement, one question remains, is the world ready for the return of Iron Mike? Stand up. The leaked footage shows Tyson working out like a beast. His punches are lightning fast, and they hit with the kind of force that could probably still knock out anyone who dares to step into the ring with him. You can see the sweat flying off his opponents in training as he lands those trademark combinations. He's bobbing and weaving, his footwork is on point, and he's throwing those devastating hooks and uppercuts that made him a legend in the first place. Now, the reactions from the boxing community have been wild. Teddy Atlas, Tyson's old trainer, is reportedly in complete shock. This guy knows Tyson better than almost anyone, and even he couldn't believe what he was seeing. For Atlas to be this blown away really says something about Tyson's current form. It's like seeing a ghost from the past. Only this ghost is ready to fight again. And it's not just Atlas. Evander Holyfield, who famously fought Tyson twice, got a peek at the footage, too. Holyfield was absolutely stunned. He couldn't believe how good Tyson looks. We're talking about a guy who's pushing 60, but looks like he could step into the ring tomorrow and give any current fighter a run for their money. Imagine how Holyfield must feel having faced Tyson's power firsthand and now seeing that same power is still there. Roy Jones Jr., another former opponent and boxing great, has been raving about Tyson's condition too. He's saying Tyson looks like he's ready to take on the world. That's a huge compliment coming from someone who's been in the ring with him. The impact of this footage on public perception has been massive. Fans are buzzing, and it's almost like the 80s and 90s all over again, with Tyson dominating the conversation in boxing circles. People who might have doubted his comeback are now thinking twice. It's not just about nostalgia anymore, it's about a real, tangible possibility that Tyson could step back into the ring and compete at a high level. Even the casual fans, who might not follow boxing closely, are getting hyped. Social media is flooded with comments and shares, and everyone's talking about how incredible Tyson looks. It's like he's reminding everyone why he was such a feared and respected fighter in his prime. In short, this leaked training footage has done more than just show Tyson in great shape. It's reignited a spark in the boxing world and among fans, making us all wonder, what if Iron Mike really does have one last great fight in him? Fight with Jake Paul. Absolutely, absolutely. It's gonna be a great fight. I'm looking forward to it. Teddy Atlas, who used to train Tyson back in the day, is completely floored by what he's seeing. Atlas has seen it all in the boxing world, but even he couldn't believe his eyes. He's reportedly in shock and disbelief at Tyson's current condition. I mean, this is a guy who knows Tyson's capabilities inside out. So if he's amazed, you know Tyson is onto something special. Imagine Atlas, someone who's been in Tyson's corner, now watching him move with that same explosive power and speed at nearly 60. It's unreal. Then there's Evander Holyfield. Remember their epic battles? Well, Holyfield got a sneak peek at Tyson's leaked training footage and was absolutely stunned. He couldn't believe the incredible physical and mental shape Tyson is in. Holyfield's reaction is pretty telling because he's been in the ring with Tyson and knows firsthand just how powerful and skilled he is. For Holyfield to be this impressed, it really says a lot. He's seen Tyson at his best and is now seeing him almost just as dangerous, which is mind-blowing. And not an exhibition like it's gonna be? No, because I would feel really bad for Jake Paul. Roy Jones Jr., another legend who faced Tyson, is also singing Tyson's praises. Jones has been raving about Tyson's condition, saying he looks ready to take on the world. That's huge coming from Jones, who is a boxing great himself. Jones mentioned that Tyson's speed, power, and intensity in the training clips are just unbelievable. It's like Tyson hasn't missed a beat, and that's gotta be a bit intimidating for anyone thinking about facing him in the ring. These legends are not just throwing out compliments lightly, They've been in the sport for decades and know what it takes to be at the top. For them to be in awe and showing this much respect for Tyson's current form is incredible. It's almost like they're reliving the era when Tyson was the undisputed king of the ring. These comments are echoing around the boxing community and fans alike. Everyone's talking about it and it's bringing a lot of excitement and anticipation. Tyson isn't just coming back for a show, 
He's coming back with a statement. And these boxing legends' reactions are proof that he's serious. I, I mean, do you know. feel, yeah. I don't, I don't think he's faster than me. Right, how hard are you training? I, I train. First off, Tyson's training routine is as hardcore as you'd expect from someone who's determined to get back in fighting shape. He's been putting in hours every day, working on his strength, speed, and technique. It's like he's back to his old ways, but with a more modern twist. Tyson starts his day with intense cardio sessions, think running, and high-intensity interval training, height, to build his stamina. Then, he moves on to strength training, where he focuses on building muscle and power. You can see from the footage that his punches are as powerful as ever, and that's thanks to a mix of weightlifting, resistance training, and bodyweight exercises. But it's not just about raw power. Tyson is also working on his agility and speed. He's been doing a lot of drills that emphasize quick footwork and hand speed. The way he's moving in the ring during training, it's almost like he's turned back the clock. He's bobbing, weaving, and throwing those fast, devastating combinations that made him famous. Now, let's talk about Rafael Cordero the man behind this resurgence. Cordero is a renowned MMA coach, but he's taken to boxing training like a fish to water. He's brought a fresh perspective to Tyson's regimen, combining traditional boxing techniques with modern training methods. Cordero has been pushing Tyson to his limits, and it's paying off big time. He's not just training Tyson physically, but also mentally, helping him regain that killer instinct and focus. One of the keys to Tyson's training is the balance between pushing hard and smart recovery. At 58, Tyson can't just train nonstop like he did in his 20s. Cordero has been really smart about incorporating recovery strategies into Tyson's routine. This includes things like proper nutrition, stretching, and even using modern recovery tools like cryotherapy and massage. It's all about keeping Tyson's body in top shape without risking injury. Comparing Tyson's current form to his prime years, there are definitely some differences, but also some surprising similarities. Back in his prime, Tyson was known for his explosive power and ferocious speed. While he might not be exactly the same as the young, unstoppable force he once was, his current training has brought him pretty close. His punches are still lightning fast, and his footwork is just as sharp. What's different now is his approach. Tyson is more measured, combining his natural aggression with experience and strategy. At 58, Tyson's physical condition is remarkable. He's maintained a muscular build, and his endurance is impressive for someone his age. His stamina might not be what it was when he was the youngest heavyweight champion, but it's still better than many fighters half his age. The leaked footage shows a man who's not just physically fit, but also mentally prepared. Tyson's focus and determination are clear in every punch he throws and every move he makes. Mike Tyson, Jake Paul has officially announced 16 ounce gloves, two minute rounds. You're the last person to share the ring with Mike Tyson. Is it, a, you know, is it too dangerous for a guy at that age or is it dangerous for Jake Paul? They ain't wearing 16 ounce gloves and headgear to save Mike Tyson. Jake Paul started out as a YouTuber. But over the past few years, he's shifted gears and focused on boxing. A lot of people thought it was a joke at first, but he's proved them wrong by winning fights and taking his training seriously. He's had some notable victories, knocking out former MMA fighters like Ben Askren and Tyron Woodley, and even taking on a former NBA player, Nate Robinson. Say what you will about his beginnings. But Jake Paul has shown that he's got some real boxing skills and a serious work ethic. Now let's get into his response to Tyson's training footage. When those videos of Tyson training started circulating, you can bet that Paul took notice. It's hard not to be a little intimidated when you see a legend like Tyson moving with that kind of speed and power. But Jake Paul is no stranger to mind games and trash talk. He's always been confident, sometimes to the point of cockiness, and he hasn't shied away from this challenge. Getting punched, because people are obviously raising that as a potential concern. Yeah, listen, when you're a warrior, it don't really matter. Paul has been talking a big game, saying he's ready for Tyson and that he's got what it takes to win. He knows that this fight isn't just about physical skill. It's also a psychological battle. Jake is smart. He's been trying to get inside Tyson's head, throwing out all kinds of statements about how he's going to knock him out and become the man who finally puts Tyson down for good. Speculating about Paul's confidence and strategy, it's clear he's planning to use his youth and agility to his advantage. At 27, Paul is 30 years younger than Tyson, which means he's likely banking on his stamina and endurance to wear Tyson down. He's also been training hard, focusing on his technique and trying to sharpen his skills. Paul knows that Tyson's power is no joke, so he's probably working on his defense and looking for opportunities to counterattack. However, there's also been some controversy surrounding Jake Paul. There have been rumors about him using performance-enhancing drugs, PEDs, 
YouTuber Kenny KO dropped a bombshell, claiming that Paul might be using PEDs, although he stressed that these claims are unconfirmed. Paul has denied these accusations, but they've definitely added some drama to the mix. Dana White, the UFC president, even accused Paul of using steroids a couple of years back, although, again, no concrete evidence was provided. So, what are your thoughts on all of this? Let us know in the comments below!